Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever played a single level in a game for nearly three hours that you came close to beating several times, but somehow enemies just keep finding a way to kick you in the dick each and every time? So let me tell you how I spent three hours on a Friday night repeatedly trying to clear one single level before I wanted to go put my head in a microwave. Friday night started off well. I had a beer, cooked some steaks for dinner, fired my bow for a bit, and then decided let's play Ready or Not for some quality enjoyment and fun. Codename Valley of the Dolls, your mission is to locate and arrest one Amos Vol, secure several pieces of electronic equipment, and bring order to chaos. Seems easy, right? Well, here's the thing. I was playing solo. Vol Health House, which until this moment I thought was Heath, so nice to know I'm still as illiterate as ever. It's a multi-storied villa with three floors, a courtyard with enough room to host Kanye West and his ego, and something hidden beneath that departs into the what in the actual f***. Yeah, this isn't a pretty one. You've been warned. Amos and his wife are throwing a party for their daughter. And look, they even managed to hire a clown. My first attempt started off rather well, dropping several suspects who decided they didn't want to follow firearm safety, finding Amos's wife hiding in a closet, and encountering the most dangerous being of all, a teenager with a cell phone. My end, however, came swiftly when I entered the main office and discovered the true meaning of fuck around and find out. My second try, I decided to wedge the main door, head downstairs, take out the barman, Shoot two more guys, then get shot because John Wick over here decided to camp around the corner and be happy he actually did something for once in his miserable life. What? I'm not bitter about that at all. Number three was a fight right out the gate with one guy scaring the ever living shit out of me before arresting a guy who made some shit. bad life decisions. Man, I don't know what I was thinking. You were thinking? Oh, that's what the burning smell was. Oh, mother f Arrest the girl. Shoot the guy. Move through the hall. Shoot the next guy. Arrest the guy. Mag dump. Pause and drive to McDonald's. Uh, hey, can I get a large cup of tea to combo? Thanks. Open the door. Kill the bird watcher. Dump the next. Scream at Amos. Police! Get down now! Commit police brutality. Walk up the stairs. Die. <laughs> Same here, buddy. Drop the gun! Oh, get f This time I tried out a ballistic helmet, which I thought would be rather handy. I mean, it works. It sounds like you put your head in the Drop bucket, though. Ma'am, this is a crime scene, not a Wendy's. Also, rock beats scissors, but do you know what beats rock? Bullets. Okay, this sound effects is driving me nuts. Be right back. By the way, this chick is turning 18 and she's getting like a $60,000 car for her birthday present. When I turn 18, my parents told me I had to start paying rent. Oh, you want to sit behind cover, you little shit? Well, I... Wait, what? Ow! Oh, he's already dead. Guess he died again. I'll just stop with the pictures, God... Okay, real talk. This mission is actually pretty difficult. Everyone is well geared with body armor and SMGs, and there's like 16 suspects to your one Vegeta complex. Oh, and did I mention you guys haven't even seen the basement yet? Oh, this is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Ha, it's a dick joke. At this point, I'm just over an hour in and I've made less progress than I did in high school. So I decide to change up the tactics. I decide to segregate the levels and work through each as methodically as I can. Heath Ledger's house is broken up into four floors. First floor is where you start and features the main door, lounge, bulk of the bedrooms, and two stairwells. Second level is the epitome of mid, with one entrance from the exterior, a jumble of rooms, and a mezzanine with a clear line of sight from the lower floor. You're probably gonna die here a lot because of that. Third floor is divided by the interior of the house and the outside courtyard. Inside is mostly open rooms of living spaces, a theatre where you're more than likely going to find Amos, and outside is a wide open courtyard. This is one of the most problematic areas due to the wide open line of sights, tight angles, and lots of objects for suspects to hide behind, as well as numerous doors to outside so enemies have a tendency to flank you, so door wedges are essential. And the basement is, well, what, did you think you were going to see that just yet? No, you're going to wait for that, okay? So I start my vendetta. I sweep the front door, checking the hallway in front and the right hand side of the room, then I die. I deliver a swift American X to the front door, then drop the first suspect I see. I then begin my career as a postman delivering a Darwin award to a guy hiding in the corner, and a one tap to a not so Jason Bourne over here. I secure the laptop in the master bedroom, then start unlocking up the suspects who decide to lay down on the job. During this time, I secure the teenager, but narrowly miss an ambush by a guy who clearly thinks he's the main character. Spoiler. He's not. I then proceed to shoot one suspect who wanted to play chicken, and his buddy who left him out the dry ends up landing a nasty shot on me, so I restart the mission. Why is this so hard? Ha, it's a dick joke. With the hours dragging on, I begin to make repeated progress. 
off into the grave. And if I told you what the point of making this video was, then all I'd have to say is dick joke. Needless to say, I memorized the map extremely well, and get acquainted as one can with the 3D rendering of the tombstone. And I thought I had it all in the bag when I'd taken down 15 suspects. Then I found number 16. And it was at this point I finally made my way into the basement. At first, nothing was out of the ordinary. Just a dark, damp cellar with some guys with twitchy trigger fingers hung out. But then, I found something. Oh, what the fuck. You see, Amos Vol isn't just some random rich guy with a weird choice in decorative pieces. Please no me, YouTube. Initially, like many players before me, I thought our upstanding citizen Amos here was nothing more than a connoisseur of the more adult things in life. I mean, the master bedroom isn't exactly what I call vanilla. But even before making this uneasing discovery in the depths of this man's house, there's a few indicators sprinkled around the level that indicate something isn't quite right. And why you're tasked with collecting electronic gear. It's also on the briefing room description, but I missed that because as I established earlier, I'm illiterate. And when you decide to push further, you find this. It was at this point a suspect decided to interrupt my horror. Two hours and 15 minutes had passed since I started this mission, and now the gloves came off. Two hours, 40 minutes, and 22 seconds. I'm finally done. And all things considered, a B is actually a good outcome. Except for the suspects. The only B they get is around 2,900 feet per second. If there's one thing to take away from this shit show of a level, it's that no matter what happens, you can always make a video on whatever bullshit you like. See you in the next one.